Oh, for no way. We the 30 years old. I ain't gonna lie. And y'all out here stealing cars. Hey, what's up? This your boy, Big Man. You already know what it is, man. So let's get right to it. Okay, so today we've been talking about Lil Reese and his shooting situation. Now, Lil Reese got shot and beat up allegedly. Well, man, it ain't even no alleged at this point. We've all seen the videos. You can go to my Instagram account. I got one of the videos up. I got two of the videos up, actually. And you can see Lil Reese is on the ground and it ain't looking good for him, man, to be real. Now, I'm assuming based off of that and based off the reports that Lil Reese is one of the people who's actually in critical condition after being shot. Now, the story in this is crazy. Now, the rumor in the streets and the rumor on the net is that Lil Reese was out here with a whole bunch of other homeboys stealing cars and got ran down on by the car owners. Now, this ain't no, you know, this, you know, his ops or anything like that. This is regular people who said, forget that, you ain't about to get my stuff. Now, this is wild, and you know his ops, man, and when I talk about ops, I'm talking about Billy Black, who he's gotten to it before, we've done a video about that, and King Yella, man. They've both taken the social media to talk about this situation and give their opinion. Now, before I go to their breakdowns and their videos, do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and man, make sure you hit them likes. Make sure we run them likes up. As soon as you come in here, make sure you hit that like button. We're trying to get a thousand likes, so let's get it. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about Lil Reese, man, out here doing bad. Okay, now in the intro, I talked about the fact that the rumor is Lil Reese was out here stealing cars. Like, okay, this is the rumor. Everybody's saying that Lil Reese and I guess a couple of guys had just stolen somebody's car and then was going to a parking garage to steal another car and got caught and tracked down by one of the original owners of a car they stole somewhere else. Now that original owner ran up and got to busting. And Lil Reese and them allegedly got to busting too. But you know, when you're not expecting it and somebody comes up, you always catch the bad end. So it looked like Lil Reese and his team caught the bad end of that situation. And there's a video of one of the car owners who is filming Lil Reese and she is talking bad to Lil Reese, man. Now, this is my problem, man. And I hate to, to, to be dissing or to talk ill on somebody when they're in a bad situation because as far as we know, it, Lil Reese is still fighting for his life in the hospital after being shot and beat up. Yes, they beat, they shot him and then beat them up, man. You know what I'm saying? And then called the police because I'm assuming... These are just regular people, regular citizens, and they doing what regular citizens would do. You know what I mean? A regular person would do that. You know what I mean? That's what they would do. They, they want to get their property back and get the police involved as quick as possible. But you can see Lil Reese on the ground looking real bad, man. But the point I was going to get to is how in the world is Lil Reese out here stealing cars? Like, come on. I know back in 2013, he had a case or whatever where he uh, it was alleged he was stealing cars. 2013, okay, he was still like in his, I guess his his young his 20s, but he was like his, he was just becoming like of age, right? But to be 28 years old and allegedly be out here stealing cars, I don't know, man. There's some there's an embarrassment factor in that, especially when you've had hit songs like "Don't Like" and you've been on TV and stuff. Like it seems like something you should be so far removed from. Like it would even be more. Like, I remember when Akon, who was it? Yeah, it was Akon. He was he was in an interview, and he was talking about he had a ring where they were still in high-end luxury cars. Like, it was a ring, and it wasn't like him personally. It was like he had lower-level dudes doing it. And you almost, even though it's bad, you almost re respect that a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? Than somebody out here still in SRTs and stuff when we didn't see them on T. It just seems, that's, I don't know, man. That's cracked. I mean, that's cracked out, man. It is, man. It's just low level type stuff man it looks all bad you know real bad especially when you're associated with some of the biggest artists in the rap game i'm talking about chief keef and i don't know their relationship now i don't know how they get down now but come on man you little dirt everybody who has that i don't want to say it you know what i'm saying because i don't say you know the affiliations or whatever but you know what i mean if all of them like they couldn't put in and you know help you on no tracks or nothing 
you just in the hood doing this? This is sad. He wasn't even in the hood. He was in downtown Chicago by a high rise. Now let's get to what Billy Black and these cats are saying because they are having a field day with this. Now here's the very first post that Billy Black made. Now in these very first posts, Billy Black said this. You see he had the laughing emojis with the clapping hands, man. He had like, what is that, like eight laughing emojis and three clapping hands. And then on his very next post, he had this. Billy Black just snapped, crackled, and popped you. And, you know, and had a, you know, you see the little picture of the guy laid out there. Because when he posted this, we didn't know the status of Lil Reese. So it was all assumed bad. You know what I mean? And then he followed both of those posts up with this post. Now, in this post, he said, slept all day, woke up to some great news. And you see like a, what is that? Like a newspaper or something like that? And basically, just boasted about the fact that Lil Reese might have caught some action. You know what I'm saying? Like, or, or been down bad. Now, okay, my apologies, man. Billy Black is an associate of FBG Duck. They're like best friends. You can see pictures of them all being together since they were young, young. You know what I mean? So they're like, I mean, I wouldn't say that they're, I, their relationship was good, and that's where he rolled with. You know what I mean? We'll say that. And the same thing with King Yeller. You've seen them in numerous interviews, and they've talked about FBG Duck, and FBG Duck was kind of like, man, he was like the glue with all those cats, to be real with you. Now, he continued with this post right here. Now, this post was made after the news of or the rumor about Lil Reese trying to steal a car came out. And Billy Black said this. He said, you can't steal stealing cars? Laughing emojis. We all grown as you know what. And y'all still stealing cars? You know what I mean? Just laughing at the fact and harping on the point I said earlier. You know, Lil Reese is 28 years old, man. And yes, he's still a young man. That, don't get it twisted. But, I mean, there's certain levels to life, you know what I mean? And you would think that, especially after he's had some success in the music industry, he wouldn't be out here personally stealing cars, man. It just looks, it looks, it looks dingy, man. It looked bad. Now, around this very same time, King Yellow went on social media and he made this post right here. He said, duck up there planning something big. It's not over. Demon emoji. It looks like. A world emoji and a duck. Duck world emoji. So, you know what I mean? Letting it be known that he thinks that duck is up there watching over them. Or maybe even planning and plotting some demon type activities. I mean, I think that's what he's more getting to. But let's actually look at the video also that came out around this same time that Billy Black posted. On phone on Ray, we the 30 years old. I ain't gonna lie. And hey, y'all out here stealing cars. You deserve that, you boy. Basically, in that video, Billy Black is making light of this. Not making light, but he's making fun of the situation. And he's harping on that point again. Like, come on, man. You almost 30 and you out here still in cars? Like, I mean, no lie. I know it's tough out there. Don't get me wrong, man. And I am not rich. So I am not dissing on anybody who's trying to get it how they live. But at some point, you are better than certain things. You are bigger than, than certain things. And it just looks crazy that Lil Reese is in this situation for doing something as janky as stealing a car, man. It's wild, man. Wild situation, wild situation, man. Now, with that, what do you guys think, man? I've been looking for other people to respond to this. Now, some of the other folks who just are, you know, doing some trolling type stuff, I am not entertained with any of that. But all this stuff that, like, people who are closely connected to the situations that have been going down in Chicago... I'm definitely interested in their perspective, especially on the opposite sides when you're talking about like Billy Black and King Yella. You know what I mean? Now, what do you guys think about this situation? Do you think that Lil Reese kind of put himself out there to be clowned by Billy Black and King Yella, even though he's definitely, you know what I'm saying, in a tough situation fighting for his life? Or is it just one of those things that he's going to have to deal with? Because if he, if all that pans out and any of that is true, he kind of made those decisions on his own. Now, with that, this has been your boy, Big Man. Do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And make sure you hit that notification bell so that way you get a notification every time I drop this hot content. And we out of here. Peace. And oh, yeah, man. Make sure y'all run them likes up, man. Hit them likes.